Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to get the best settings on your paint gun to spray a streakless silver metallic finish. And let me start off by telling you guys, I know how you feel. I know how frustrating it is to be spraying a silver metallic paint job, whether it's on a hood or the side of the car or even blending and getting those streaks that just don't go away. Well, I'm here to tell you that I'm gonna save you guys and help you get better results when it comes to spraying silver. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, we'll be using this older Acura TL to demonstrate a perfect blend on the quarter panel. The damage at stake is at the lower quarter panel and we'll be blending our color and then clear coating the rest of the panel. So it's more than just getting the best settings and spraying it down. It's all about the preparation. That's key and also giving yourself enough room. We can see here that we have a small area, but our paint will extend approximately up into this area. So you don't wanna to try to do any blends of clear or anything like that. You don't wanna limit your space. Make sure you guys are doing this properly and clear coating the whole entire panel. This is gonna give you guys the best setup for getting a good result. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you get into any of those settings is get yourself the right reducer. Try to use an extra slow if possible, if they offer it with your paint brand. It might not be called extra slow, but it could be called over 100 degrees or something like that. But the hottest temperature reducer possible. If you can't get that, make sure you're using slow. Let me talk to you about what that's gonna do. Now, the reason why you're getting streaks is because the paint is drying too quickly by the time it hits the panel. By using a slower reducer, it's gonna keep it open longer and smoother. Granted, it will take longer to dry, but you only have to do about two or three coats and it'll be nice and smooth. You won't have to do any drop coats or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll first start off by spraying some sealer so that we have a nice uniform finish that is ready for our base coat. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can skip this step. Just make sure you sand it up to 600 or 800 grit so that your metallics can lay smooth. At this point, we're ready for clear base to smooth out this edge and to give us a nice blending additive for the rest of the panel. And basically all it is is clear base coat. I'll link some in the description so you can get some for your own project. And after that clear blending additive dries, it makes the edge of the sealer super smooth. Now let's say you didn't have the blending additive, no problem. It'll be a little rough here, that's fine. What you can either use is a melt away edge solvent that comes in an aerosol can, I'll put that in the description. Or you could just sand it with like 2000 grit. This is the way to do it in a body shop. See how smooth it is? Nothing's getting caught up. Now. We're about to spray our base. And here's how we'll adjust our gun. First, we want our fan wide open. If we turn it all the way to the right, this will make our fan very narrow. We don't want that. For full atomization, we want to turn it all the way to the left, counterclockwise. Next, we want to take our fluid and we want to back it out. Once again, counterclockwise, almost to the point where it comes out. Then, pull our trigger then wind in it clockwise towards the right until it does not move anymore. At this point, it's what we call wide open. The gun is sent for optimal atomization with full fluid moving through the paint gun. Now on this particular spray gun, this is one of the best metallic base coat spray guns they make. And it will spray very easily and you won't have to adjust the settings too much. You'll spray it around 13 to 14 PSI on this spray gun particularly. On any other spray gun, you're gonna lower your pressure in and around 19 to 21 PSI, about three pounds lower. By lowering your pressure, it's gonna put a lot more material onto the panel and it's gonna be much smoother. We're gonna cover the sealer area first. What we have done is we sprayed it in an X pattern one way, 
and the other way. And we have a very wet area that will dry smooth. And also will dry smooth at the edge here. You can see it's blending perfectly already on our first coat. Now let's say you're in the garage and you don't want to spray it that wet. Take this knob and turn it in one full turn. What that's gonna do, less fluid to the panel, same amount of air, but it will atomize it a little bit more so it won't be as wet. But here's my suggestion to you. Try to spray it wet. If it's got stuff in it, debris, that type of thing, do not sand it yet. Let it dry. The worst thing you can do, guys, is start to sand silver metallic before it dries. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna streak, it's gonna, it's gonna sand too roughly. Let it cure, okay? Give it 25 minutes if you're concerned. Then you can go over it lightly with an 800 grit. We can use an 800 hand pad, a K800, which I'll put in the description. That works phenomenal for sanding base down. What do we want to do from this point? We want to leave it. I want to let that really get the solvents out of the paint. We'll give it a good 10 minutes, and then we'll apply our second coat. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, a K800 with a hand pad. So for instance, we're also spraying these beautiful bumpers in the same color. And I have a couple areas I need to, need to lightly go over. You can see how it sands nice and smooth. We haven't eaten up the base or streaked it up, and that's all you want to do. I have another area right here, just needs a little bit of a sand, and that's it. Since it's got a cushion to it, it takes the curve very easy and does not apply the sandpaper too coarse to the surface. You don't want to do that. Now let's say for instance this whole bumper had dust nibs or something, you would gently go over it. Or if you sprayed it too wet in your garage and had dust nibs, gently go over it with an 800. Same thing with this bumper. We sealed both these bumpers and we did the same exact thing we're doing on the actual quarter panel. Now when it comes to the quarter panel, we can see after 10 minutes how beautiful it looks. Here's the lovely thing. This is only going to need one more coat. What I would tell you guys, if you're not confident, is get coverage plus one. However, less is more when doing silver metallics. Here's what we're going to do on our last coat. And basically all we're going to do is lower my pressure about two pounds. We were spraying right around 13. And I'll lower it to right around 11. Now, on a regular paint gun, you'd be at around 18 to 19 PSI. And all we're gonna do here is just increase our distance from about five inches to maybe eight and lightly put the paint on. Since we're using extra slow reducer, it's still gonna lay very smooth. When we do it now, we're gonna fan into this area a little bit further and then fan into the other area a little bit further. And that's it. Now, if that doesn't look good and you're having an oh crap moment, here's what you can do. Take that blending out of tip from before and mix about one ounce to one ounce. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take away the strength of the metallics and that's gonna help you even more. Then we'll take this coat and we'll put it even further, but not too close to the door. Really, I don't need this right now, but for demonstration purposes, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna run one more coat of this 10 minutes after your last full strength of base coat. And for this, we'll go just a couple inches past our last blend, and it will smooth it out and make sure we don't have any stripes and any halos around our blend. Voila, it's ready for clear. Now, I'm not out of touch with reality. I know not all jobs will go this easy for you. I know you will run into issues. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to over apply the paint trying to get it to be smooth. If you've got three coats of paint on there and it's not smooth and it's got stripes, stop. Here's why. Your paint is dry and that's why you're getting stripes because those dry areas, it's, it's drying in the air 
before it hits the panel. That's why you get the zebra stripes. So if you keep on putting more coats and more coats and more coats, it's gonna look worse. What's the solution? You need to sand it. You need to use that 800 or 1000 grit sandpaper and you need to smooth it out. And yeah, you can use some water, light spritz of some water, sand the whole thing down. Careful of your edges, don't burn through. But you need to start over until it's smooth. If you feel your panel and it's rough, you're never gonna get yourself out of there. And here's another thing. Clear is not gonna fix your problem. If it doesn't look good before you clear it, guess what? It's gonna look worse after you clear it. So get it right before clear. Right here, this looks good. It's ready for clear. So let's get it cleared and check it out outside. And there you have it, a beautiful, flawless blend and it looks fantastic. With the tips and tricks in this video, you're well on your way to produce awesome silver finishes without any streaks or without any blending halos. Guys, this is Brian from Paint Decider reminding you, don't overthink it, it's just paint. See you guys in the next one.